Hello students. Today let us solve a problem on OC curve. So here in the question they are asking us to draw an OC curve from a single sampling. So here the sampling is single sampling plan for n equal to 4000 that is the lot size and small n is the sample size which is given as 80 and c that is the acceptance number is 2. So first of all for the solution we will write the given data. So they have given n that is the lot size is 4000 small n that is the sample size is 80 c is the acceptance number which is given as 2 so now before we solve the problem we have to make one assumption so we have to assume that the process quality that is 100 fraction defective is varying from 0 to 9 percent in the lot. So assuming the process quality that is 100 fraction defective varying from 0 to 9 percent in the lot. So this is the table which is called as the poisons table. So from this table we are going to take the probability of acceptance values based on the NP dash and C value. So here we can see this is the NP. Here they have given NP. So this is the NP value and these are the C values that is the acceptance number values. So these 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 up till 10. And here they have given NP values that is 1, 1.1, 1.2. So based on these values, these two values we will select the PA values so for that i have drawn a table here so we have assumed that the process quality is varying from 1 to 9 so that is 1 2 3 till 9 now p dash value that is 100 percent defective divided by 100 so here this number divided by 100 so it will give 0 0.01 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 .08 and 0 0.09. Now n value that is 80. So sample size is 80. They have already given it in the question itself. So I have taken it as 80 for all the values then, then now we have to calculate the np dash value that is this is p dash and this is n so multiplication of these two values will give us the np dash value so for the first one 80 into 0 0.01 we will get 0 0.8 same way 80 into 0 0.02 we will get 1.6 0 0.03 into 80, 2.4. Then next is 3.2. Multiplication of 0 0.05 into 80 will give us 0 0.4. Then 0 0.06 into 80 is 4.8. Then 5.6. 6.4 and the last one is 7.2.
so these values of np dash and c value we will have to find the probability of acceptance from the table so now for the first one that is c value they have given as 2 so from the table np dash value is 1 which is not mentioned here and c value is 2 but here it is 1.1 1.0 is not given but from the table we will get an answer of 0 0.952 now for the second value np dash value is 1.6 and c value is 2 so for that so here np dash value is 1.6 and c value is 2 so the answer is 0 0.809 which is given here so answer is 0 0.809 for np dash value 2.4 and c dash value is 2 np dash value is 2.4 and c value is 2 we will get 0 0.570 so from the table it is 0 0.570 then for the next value that is 3.2 np dash value is 3.2 and c value is 2 so we will get 0 0.380 so the value is 0 0.380 then next for np dash value 4 which is here and c value 2 we will get 0 0.238 so that is 0 0.238 then for np dash value 4.8 this is the 4.8 np value is c value is 2 so th for that we will get 0 0.4 2 or 4 3 so here it is 0 0.142 now these values that is 5.6 6.4 and 7.2 are not in the table so how do we calculate the pa value for this so we can calculate the pa value with the help of poisson's formula so np dash is equals to 5.6 6.4 and 7.2 are not in the table and so we can calculate corresponding PA value using the Poisson's formula. So, what is the formula given? PA of C is equals to NP dash whole power C divided by e power minus np so for the value of 5.6 how do we calculate it we will write pa of 2 is equals to 5.6 square divided by 2 integral e power minus 5.6 so this will give us a value 0 0.058 now pa of 1 because c value is 
2 c is equals to 2 so we will calculate the values of probability at c value 2 at c value 1 and at c value 0 so that is 5.6 whole power 1 divided by 1 integral e power minus 5.6 so this will give us an answer of 0.021 so in the same way 5.6 whole power 0 and 0 integral e power minus 5.6 so this will give us an answer of 0 0.004 so all these three values must be added up so probability at 2 or less so that is why we will write it as 0 0.058 plus 0 0.021 plus 0.004 so this will give us an answer of 0.083 so the value for probability at np-5.6 will give us an answer of 0.083 so in the same way to find the value of so for the NP dash value is 6.4 we will calculate it the same way as we have calculated for 5.6 so that is PA of 2 probability at C equal to 2 we will write it as 6.4 whole square divided by 2 factorial e power minus 6.4 so this will yield us some value the same way pa of 1 that is probability at c equal to 1 6.4 whole power 1 divided by 1 factorial e power minus 6.4 so this will give us one more value the same way for probability at c equal to 0 we will write 6.4 whole power 0 0 factorial e power minus 6.4 so this will also give us one value so adding up these values we will get the probability of acceptance for 6.4 that is 0 0.064 in the same way for np dash is equals to 7.2 also we will calculate and for this we will get an answer as 0 0.025 so we will note it down in the table so for 6.4 it is 0 0.064 and for 7.2 it is 0 0.025 now we will plot the OC curve so this is the OC curve for n equal to 4000 small n is 80 and c that is the acceptance number is 2 so here this is the x axis it will have the percent defective on the y axis this is the probability of acceptance that is pa so let us write it here as pa now for the fraction defective one which we have assumed the probability of acceptance is from the table we can see that the value is 0 0.952 so here i have marked it as 0 0.95 and for the value of the uh, person defective 2 the probability of acceptance is 0 0.809 so i have marked it at 0 0.80 then for the third position the probability of acceptance is 0 0.57 so i have marked it here 
above 0 0.55 then the same way for all the values we will check the probability of acceptance value and we will mark it respectively then after i have marked all the points i will join it with the help of in the form of a curve so here so this is the curve which we will get after joining all the points this is the operating characteristic curve or OC curve. So one small note which I want to remind before I finish the problem is for let me write it as note for 100 fraction defective is 0 then p dash is equals to 0 and that is why np dash will be 0, 0.0 and that is why we will write p a of 0 is equals to 0 power 0 factorial 0 e power minus 0 that is nothing but 1 so for p dash or 100 p dash we will consider it as 0 and probability as 1 so the curve will always start from probability value 1 for 100 p dash equal to 0 so if this p dash value is 0 then the curve will start from this point 1 this is the meaning of this note and this curve will be asymptotic along the process activity axis or process quality axis or fraction defective axis and it will meet at infinity so it will not join this axis it will not meet the x axis and it is asymptotic along this axis this is all about the problem for single sampling plan so i hope you have understood this thank you